This video is about the most significant bit or MSB and introducing the idea of the least significant bit or the LSB. So bit, well, we're working with binary. Here is a nibble or four bit binary. One, two, three, four, four bit binary, also known as a nibble. So where would I find the most significant bit? Well, the most significant bit is the one with the highest value. So the highest value would be over here. So this is my most significant bit. Well, then which one is my least significant bit? Well, it's this one. This is my least significant bit. What's the value of my least significant bit? Well, it's one. And if you don't know that, you need to watch my previous videos. What's the value of the most significant bit? Well, it's not one, two, four, well, it's eight. So why do I care about having uh, the MSB and an LSB? These make sense when you start to do things like um, sine and magnitude and two's complement. These are systems for representing negative numbers uh, in binary. But, okay, well that's four bit. What if I go bigger? What if I've, I've got um, another bit? Where's the MSB now? Well, the most significant bit now is here. It's still the one on the furthest left. What's it worth now? Because before it was eight. One, two, four, eight. Well, it's now worth 16. And what if I've got eight bits? One, oh, one, one, oh, one, one, one. What about now? Where's my most significant bit? Well, it's over here. It's the furthest one to the left. And what's it worth? One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. It's worth 128. And that is still my least significant bit. Wait, does this work? If I go beyond eight bits, one o one one o one one o one 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 o one o. What's my most significant bit? What's that one? What's my least significant bit? And it's that one. How many bits have I got? One two one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen. I have no idea what the value of that is, but I could calculate it. And that's it. So again, we need to know the difference between MSB and LSB when it comes to do uh, sine and magnitude and two's complement. Those are two systems for working out negative numbers in binary because up to this point, I've only been using positive numbers.